I'm chatting with Dr. David Brown, who is a finance professor at the University of Arizona. And I've known David for several years. And uh, one of the things that David and I have in common is we're both really interested in uh, Microsoft Excel as a tool and how important it is for, um, for uh, college students to sort of uh, get used to using Microsoft Excel and catapult into um, the the job market. And David, you're, you're you're way ahead of me on this because you've gone way beyond the classroom. So I know that uh, you've got this 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 thing called the uh, Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge that you're really excited about. So uh, what is the Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge? Hey, thanks, Eric. It's essentially an opportunity for students to learn more Excel skills that they don't necessarily get in the classroom, right? We want to give students a way to engage in Excel, learn ways to get faster in Excel, more efficient, and really pr prepare for their careers. Because like you said, it's so important for many jobs as students graduate, and we just don't get enough in the natural college curriculum. So what we've done is created kind of a year-long program. It just launched about a week ago, where students can engage once a month with a modeling challenge, right? This month it's working on keyboarding and being efficient moving around the keyboard and learning shortcuts. Next month, it's gonna be about building a sales commission dashboard uh, and understanding how to model out what your commissions might be if you're you know, doing sales yourself or managing a sales team. And there are gonna be more challenges like that throughout the year. Yeah, so uh, so it's sort of like there's a there's a case, if you will, that that you and and some of your colleagues, I guess, have written, and the students actually participate in the case. They they create the spreadsheets and solve the problems, et cetera. Is that is that the way to think about this? Exactly. It's very case study based, and a lot of these cases are actually coming from real employers and examples of what they've done in the real world. And not only are they helping to kind of show you what real world work is, but they're also recruiting the students that are participating in the Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge. So this is a great opportunity to connect students to the jobs that they will have in the future. So, well, jobs, that's a good thing. Uh, we all we all chime in when uh, when we hear the word uh, real jobs. Uh, but you said there's a year long program. Um, and my understanding is you're just now starting this year's round. Is that this year's uh, version? Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. We had our first competition and challenge last year. Uh, it actually ended in December. We had our first live finals event here in Tucson, Arizona. And this year, we're actually just starting up. So we're going to have an April challenge, but we'll also have challenges monthly. And those are all leading up to October when we're going to have a couple online rounds of competition. So there's the challenge aspect where students are learning and really developing their Excel skills. And then there's the competition that kicks up in October where students can show off their skills, right? Uh, and there we're going to have a couple online rounds of competition where the best students from that are actually going to be flown to Tucson, Arizona. Uh, December 2nd is the date. And we're going to have people competing here in a live Excel esports format. We have thirty thousand dollars in prizes for the top finishers. Y'all hey, have y'all have an esports arena on campus. Yeah, we we have an esports arena, uh, and we actually you know recorded it all, filmed it all last year, and we're able to put together an ESPN U special as well. So there's been a lot of interest in this, and I really see it's the start of the Excel esports world, uh, and we'd love to be a part of it, and really help students get more involved in this because, you know, you can play video games all day and they're fun, yeah. but this is a video game you can play that helps you get a job. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that, that's awesome. Um, so I guess two questions then, uh, one, uh, how much does it cost? And two, can my students do this? Yeah. So at one, it's free, right? This is all paid for by sponsors, right? The sponsors are paying to have access to the students to, get the best students that are participating to get jobs. So again, there's that nice job link. So it's free for everyone and anyone can do it kind of regardless of level. So if you're a freshman, a senior, if you even just graduated, you can still try out the modules. You're just not gonna be eligible for the prize money at that point. So, um, so I, I'll provide my students um, a link where they, can, uh, where they can sign up. So they need to do this. Um, I guess, uh, I guess pretty quickly. Um, but in terms of, I, I guess one more question, in terms of like prerequisite knowledge, um, what do they, what do they need before they, they start? So you don't need anything to get started. The more you have, the easier these challenges are going to be. Uh, each month there's a walkthrough video that shows you how to do the different challenges that either I will provide or another Excel expert will show you. Um, and if there are things you don't know yet, well, we're going to provide resources to get those. So as an example, in the keyboarding challenge, you need to use a lookup function, something like a VLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP 
If you don't know those, well, we're going to link to some other videos that can give that to you as well. All right, sounds like a great opportunity. Um, so, so thanks, David, for all that you're doing, and I'm excited to to be a part of it. I, I view this as a as a potential long term uh, relationship uh, between us, between our students, between our universities, and so it's uh, it's really exciting to be a part of this. So, uh, thanks. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you, and I look forward to seeing lots of Tennessee students here in Tucson in December.